Hello everybody, uh, this is my, uh, well, this is going to be a video around my no wires fusion root over the rock birch projects. Um, so starting with this one which is bursting out into growth all over the place. Um, some weeds, just get rid of those. Um, it's actually fusing in a number of places. Uh, I can see there's a dead piece of wood just there. Um, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to get. Okay, so that's that. Um, and uh, follow it back down. There's the other end of it. I'll just pull that away. That'll just rot otherwise. But uh, all in all, I'm quite pleased with the the way the roots are, uh, the trees are fusing together. Um, the work I'm going to do today is just to tidy them up a little bit, prevent it all from getting too lanky. So um, I'm going to reduce some of these pieces back to a bud. Now as you can see they've kind of unbundled themselves but uh, I'm going to use some grafting tape so it will still be a a no wire project just to pull these back together like so trying to miss where there's a bud popped um, So, literally going to come down a bit so I can come back up without covering up a bud. That's better. Okay. And then I can shorten that one to there as well. Okay, um, going to remove that back to there. Let's shorten these other straight pieces off. Um, there's another dead piece in there. Okay. Now, okay, so I'm going to try and bring these pieces together. Um, I want to keep that piece out like so, and then tie these pieces at the top with some grafting tape. bit of taper as well. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to shorten that piece. So they are and then coming back out shorten some of these other pieces and then hopefully um, 
will achieve full fusion in the next couple of years. So that's easy for easily done for that one. There you have it. This is the perceived front. Um, whether I'll keep this piece at the back, I don't know. Whether it'll I may bring it down. It might be quite nice to bring down into that plane. Bear with me. Okay, so this is the front and uh, I've made a hole through the pot just here. Um, I'm just going to place a piece of wire through and then I am going to just wire wrap that wire around that piece uh, maybe too high uh, too low rather I don't want it horizontal okay so that just brings it out we can grow ahead um, using this as secondary trunk coming out at a more pleasing angle um, Still higher, I think. Would be more pleasing. Yes, that's better. Okay, so that's definitely all there is for this tree for now. So we'll remove that to one side. We will look at this other one. Um, sadly, we've had a whole tree die off here. Um, so we're just going to remove that. like so um, which is a shame because that means this tree's not that was the brand, the root that was actually going to hold this um, tree over the rock as it were so if I can just remove that root and uh, okay so I've actually made a hole there now so what I can do is I liberated a little bit of seedling from uh, just another one of my little volunteer self seeders that sort of turn up from time to time. Um, I'm going to pop that into place just there. allow that to grow up and then as it gets a bit bigger it can be teased into position with the rest of this tree so I'm not going to do a huge amount of work to this one I'm just going to shorten everything back remove any dead pieces uh, encourage lots of back budding know which is the front of this tree yet a lot will depend on whether that tree takes to become that extra root or not um, don't like that straight piece but I'm going to prune it back just to there and uh, hope more buds pop you see there is a bud uh, popping just there so I'm going to lose it okay so it's a quick 360 of this one again I'm getting some fusion uh, no wires in sight and uh, just allowing the trees to grow and fatten up seems to be working the working a treat apart from the one that died that is okay one last one um, I probably regret this decision next year but I'm going to leave it in this pot as it's growing reasonably well um, I'll have the same problem as I've had with other trees trying to get them out of one of these belly pots but as it is growing reasonably well I'm going to 
leave it as it is if need be you know and I have to smash the pot to get it out I do but I'm quite pleased with the progress of that one so far I could squash that together a little more So again, out comes the grafting tape. As I said, this is all an experiment. I have really no idea whether this stuff will do this job. I know it holds a branch in place while you're grafting it because I've used it for that. When is it is already starting to un unravel? It's a bit worrying. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, please, please, please do take care of yourselves.